What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we're going to take a look at the two new tiers of loot that are being added to Advanced Warfare. One of them is now better than Elite, it's called Legendary and it's purple and essentially this is a new tier above Elite which is better and now the best tier of loot you can get from Supply Drops and Advanced Supply Drops. Now this is coming to Xbox on the 9th of June, it sounds like it's coming to both Xbox One and Xbox 360 and of course PlayStation and PC in around a month later. It's quite confusing because they say it kicks off with this counter intelligence gear which is the gear you can see right here. This is the first set of legendary gear and there's only one in existence given to the first Grandmaster Prestige. The first person in the world to ever hit Grandmaster Prestige he's going to get awarded this and they also said that it'll be available in supply drops and advanced supply drops. So I think what they're saying is that the first person who got to Grandmaster Prestige has got this armor right now or he's getting it right now and, uh, and then we'll be able to get our gear ourselves later on on the 9th of June from supply drops and advanced supply drops. I think that's what they mean but essentially this is the first set of legendary gear and currently it's only armor and of course the 9th of June we'll be able to use that ourselves and of course I'm going to be going for that armor myself opening some advanced supply drops to try and see if we can get it so stay tuned for those videos on the 9th of June when it launches and it says it's an 8 piece sets of 8 different items to unlock separately and they also have the highest redemption value which is pretty interesting so these could possibly redeem for like 5 or 10,000 XP of course the normal elite redeems for 2,000 XP and they said this is the highest so possibly it could be worth a lot of experience I don't really see why anyone would want to dismantle this legendary gear it doesn't really seem that that worth it to be honest but I think they'd definitely make it worth it and this could be worth quite a lot of experience if you don't actually like the look of it and if you want to get the XP instead and on top of the new legendary set of gear there is a second set which is called retired and this is basically some really bad gear that no one really cares about and it will no longer be available in suppliers or advanced suppliers it's going to be taken out of the rotation and this will have the red text as you can see right here on it you can still use it of course they're still kind of available and these is existing armor and weapons that are already in the game and these won't be in supply drops so this kind of makes them more rare and more exclusive because they're uh, kind of like limited edition and they won't be available anymore to get and honestly it's a good thing because it means less odds of getting the stuff in supply drops so you've got a better chance of getting some of the other stuff and you have to worry about getting all this Nigerian gear and KVA stuff and honestly it's just good that you don't have a chance of getting this stuff anymore and uh, something I thought about is imagine if they did that to one day say the Obsidian Steed what if they retired the Obsidian Steed so that people that have it are obviously happy if you don't have the thing then you won't ever be able to get it because it won't be unlockable through supply drops so that's pretty interesting I think it's definitely likely that later down the line they're going to start retiring more gear at this current point you can see the weapons on screen here which is just a few enlisted ones and a couple bad piece of arm which honestly is just a good thing like I said that means you don't have a chance of getting them in supply drops anymore and you've got a higher chance of getting some of the better stuff and uh, honestly I think later down the line I think they're going to start retiring some good stuff so possibly some elite weapons and they'll make them more exclusive so if you don't have them while you can then you'll never be able to get them ever again so what if they did that let me know your thoughts in the comment section and something else I thought of is that they might start doing uh, legendary weapons I think that's very likely they opened up a new tier and it would make sense for them to introduce legendary weapons and I think that's definitely coming down the line imagine if they brought out like five legendary weapons with like insane stats like brand new stats not like the royalty ones which is the same as existing ones what if they brought out say five legendary weapons with insane stats like a bell an AK a HBR an ASM1 and a Moors what if they brought out those and there were legendary versions with really cool stats I think that is very possible and it would be kind of like very cool to see if they brought out some new legendary weapons that would be really really hunted for so let me your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about the new legendary and retired gear hopefully you guys have enjoyed this information if you did give a like rating subscribe for more videos on the channel and i'll see you guys later